This video demonstrates the tasks which are in the iCut T1 practical evaluation using an EF Johnson 5100 ES handheld radio. Task 1. Turn on the radio using the on-off volume knob on top. Allow the radio to go through its self-test. Once the self-test is complete, turn the squelch off by pressing the top button on the side of the radio. Adjust the volume to a comfortable level. Now turn the squelch back on by pressing the squelch button again. Task 2. Select two assigned zone channel combinations. Select the proper zone by pressing the up-down buttons on the front of the radio. Select the proper channel by using the channel selection knob on top. In this case we've selected zone 2, channel Byron NB. Select another zone and channel combination. Now we'll select Zone 3 and the Alexandria P25 channel. Task 3. Select Low or High Power. To select Low or High Power, use the F3 button. Pressing the button toggles between Low Power and High Power. The selected power setting is briefly indicated on the display. 4. Turn the scan feature on or off using the F2 button. Press F2 twice. The first time you press it, the word scan will be highlighted. The second time you press it, the selectable items on and off will appear. Use the up-down buttons to highlight on. Press the F2 button to select on. star will appear next to on to indicate it has been selected. Press F1 twice to return to the main display. Notice the Z symbol in the display indicating that scanning is on. To turn scanning off, press the F2 button twice. Highlight off. Select off. Then press F1 twice to return to the main display. Notice the Z symbol will be gone, indicating scanning is off. Task 5. Turn Squelch Select on or off by pressing the F4 button. The F4 button toggles between Squelch Select and Squelch Normal. Pressing F4 again returns you to the Squelch Normal setting. Task 6. Accidental Selection of Scan Edit or Key Select. You should not enter Scan Edit or Key Select on the menu, but if you do, press F2 once, then F1 to back out of them and return to the main display. Task 7. Attach the external microphone and hold it properly to your mouth. First ensure the radio is turned off. Remove the connector cover on the radio then slide the cover out of the way. Take the external microphone and find the spring clip on the top of the connector. Now hook the bottom of the connector onto the radio. Pull the spring clip back and attach the top of the connector to the radio. Test to ensure the connector is firmly attached. When you talk using the external microphone, press and hold the button on the side of the microphone. Release the button when you are done talking. When speaking into the microphone, hold it two to three inches from your mouth. That's about one hand width from your mouth. This concludes the iCut evaluation demo video. Feel free to use it as often as you need to increase your proficiency in using the EF Johnson 5100 ES radio.